Welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we're playing a Halloween game with you. Yay! So this is a game that was completely dreamed up by Laura and I have no idea how to play it yet. That's how all the games are on this channel. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> John's so, on the spot. That's what these are called. So by the time this gets posted, I don't know what we're going to be calling it, but it's like, a, you know, a yes or no to all of these things. It's something you like or you don't. Um, is it a thing? Halloween edition. Ready? We have our paddles I'm ready. ready. Yeah, my paddles. Oops. We have our paddles ready. So we're just gonna go kind of through rapid fire. Well, I mean, we can stop and chit chat, but we'd love to hear if you would let us know if any of these are, if you feel particularly passionate, let us know how you would answer some of these down in the comments below. We love when you play along. So, yes, ready? Yes, we do. <clears throat> I think I'm ready. The first one is horror movies. Is it a thing? Well, not is it a thing in general. It's a thing, obviously. It's a thing. But do you enjoy them? Do you like them? Is, you know, yes. Horror movies, yes or no? One, two, three. Not my genre. I know it's a thing. I know it's multi-million dollar industry. It is not a thing for See, me. I mean, I know that like kind of ghost stories or like hauntings get wrapped up into horror. I like those type of films, but the, it's like the slasher things and the Friday the 13th and stuff like that. Nah. Uh, even for me, if it's a medical show, it doesn't have to be a medical show, but too much stuff <sighs> yeah. is too much. I have to turn it off. Too <clears throat> uh, graphic. I, I can't handle it. It's not, I can't. Homemade costumes. Thing one two three. Yes, I love homemade costumes. I feel like anybody that dresses up, whether it's a money issue and they want to do homemade costumes, it's near and dear to my heart because my mom could sew and she made me amazing costumes, and I never had to worry that I had the same one as somebody else, which I loved. Yeah, all my <coughs> costumes growing up were store bought, I believe. I, I mean, if I was really young and I don't really remember, then I don't remember. But um, I certainly do appreciate those people that have homemade costumes. And you can tell, like, somebody put a lot of time, effort, love mm -hmm. into it, you know? I'm a creative <clears throat> mind. I don't always know how to make something happen. So between me and my mom, we came up with some really cool stuff. Because nice. I would have the idea, whether it was, like my prom dress or a costume or whatever. She could always right. make it happen. Whatever I could see, she could she could bring into fruition. Okay? Haunted houses, as in going to them. I wonder if, uh, do other countries do this? If you're watching from another country besides the States, let us know. Is that a thing? I don't mean actual places that are haunted. I mean the pop-up haunted houses that you walk through and people, people scare, scare the People scare you and have the, yeah, there's like yeah. scenes and yeah, stuff. Yeah, haunted like houses. Yes or no, one, two, three. Not as an adult, I wouldn't, but like as a kid, like a teenager and stuff, yeah. it was great to go to, but I not did. now. I did too, until I had a really bad nightmare about how that's the perfect setting to actually harm somebody, because there's all the screaming uh, and fake blood and whatever, and it was a reoccurring nightmare, and I thought, mm, is this a <laughs> message, is this a warning, is this, I, I think I'm done going to haunted houses. Is it okay? for teenagers to go trick-or-treating. How do you feel about teens trick-or-treating? Ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> Mine is a yes and a no. Uh, if they're out and they're actually trick-or-treating and that's what they're doing and they're not out taking candy and all of that stuff, I think it's okay. I think there's a there's a lot worse things in the world that teenagers could be doing, especially True. on Halloween night. I know it's a thing. A lot of people think that, you know, 12 is the cutoff or whatever. I don't have a problem with it. They're not my favorite to see. You know, I want to see the little tiny kids, but I think it's okay. I think that they're old enough. They can still dress up and go and do something 
you know, with yeah. their friends and stuff and not just go trick-or-treating from door to door. And I kind of leave the candy for the kids. But. I agree. Some people turn teenager mm -hmm. trick-or-treaters away. I, would, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't I guess. do that either. I guess that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I would never do that. You never know somebody's story either. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it's not your business really to find out. You're just handing out a piece of candy, you know, right. but sometimes uh, we were just watching a YouTuber recently that said she never got to trick or treat as a kid because, you know, she grew oh, that's up right. very religious and that was something they didn't do. And by the time they were done with that, she was 12 and yeah. she really wanted to trick. I mean, <clears throat> I think it's okay. Carve pumpkins. Is that something you enjoy doing? One, two, three. Yep. We're adults. Kidless. House <laughs> have to have pumpkins. It's something I enjoy. Yeah. I say carving, but I mean decorated, painted, some decorated. kind of pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah, and we might do it not do it every year, but I think you know consistently we decorate and put stuff out and carve pumpkins. So. Yeah. Yep. Let us know. Oh, I'd love to hear if you make uh, you know like an original or traditional jack o' lantern, mm -hmm. or if you do something artsy or something different I'd, I'd love to know halloween music is it a thing do you enjoy halloween music one two three go there's only a couple of songs right it's not like christmas where you can i mean there's a couple of okay halloween songs but for the most part they need somebody needs to do some new ones i think i i, mean, I can get down with some thriller but ah, yeah, Thriller, um, that's not necessarily a Halloween song when, you know, it doesn't pop into my head like that. You but. go to any Halloween party and that will get played. Of course it will. But like what other Halloween songs would there be? I mean, there's the ones that, you know, the, have Monster the noises. The Mash and... is a big thing. And I'll talk about my favorite Halloween song. Well, what, it, what I think of as a Halloween song after the next question. Oh, all right. So, next one, Rocky Horror, is it a thing? One, two, three, yes! I love <laughs> Rocky Horror. Love, 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 love. And Time Warp is my favorite mm. Halloween song. It's what I ca char characterize as a Halloween song. I don't think it's really but, Halloween, but you know. Isn't it just a step to the left? Yeah. Baked pumpkin seeds one two three go i want to like them i know they're good for you and we're all about the not wasting anything so i mean we certainly could throw them out for somebody else to eat them i i want to like them i've made them several times they never turn out in a way that i enjoy them so no and i've even tried some that were you know commercially made mm -hmm. you would think that those would be good but nah i don't like them yeah, I, I yeah. don't like them. It's like pumpkin for me. I want to like them and I want to like all the pumpkin stuff and be that basic, you know what? But I'm not. Mm. To each okay. their own, I suppose. Do you believe in ghosts? One, two, three, go. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Yeah, I certainly, yeah, I certainly do. That could be a whole episode of things we've experienced or, you know, what, how we feel about it, but are, are there spirits among us? I think yes. I don't really know. I'm kind of on the fence, but I'd like to believe it. Yeah. Okay, ready? Not tortured souls, though. No, I don't want that. Next is watching Halloween specials or movies. These are the, of the non-gory variety. Hocus Pocus and the like. Ready? One, two, three, go. Yes, that's... What I'm sure. into. All the little kitty, you know, I want to see Charlie Brown every mm. year, all that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I dig it. Haven't um, seen something like that for quite some time now, but yeah, I mean, even as an adult, I can appreciate the stuff that I liked as a child, you mm -hmm. know? It's not like you grow out of it. It's nice to see it again. Yeah, I agree. Are you afraid of cemeteries? Do you think they're spooky? One, two, three, go. Yeah, I believe that that's a place of respect. I don't believe in hanging out in cemeteries and, you know, I, they don't scare me. They don't, you know, no, I don't no. go there to be frightened. That's where people are laid to rest. I don't, I don't think you should be there unless you have business being there. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. Shouldn't a lot of people, disrespectful for a sure. lot of people are disrespectful and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, 
cemeteries get vandalized frequently oh, and stuff like gosh. that. And that's that the worst thing. That irritates me to no end. How but dumb. Am I afraid of them? No. Scary books. Are you into those? One, two, three, go. Love scary books. Yeah. Well, but I can't handle a scary movie. <laughs> I guess. Some of those, like, Stephen King books are frightening. Yeah. And I guess when you get to a scary point, you can just put it away and maybe forget for a while. But maybe. you're not seeing anything that you can't unsee. Yeah. And I think for you, a lot of the stuff that's kind of gory is, you know, it affects you more visually. You're very empathetic towards those characters that are in there. That's right. Everything, actually. <laughs> Animals. <laughs> people. Yeah. Okay, ready? Bobbing for apples. Is that something you enjoy? One, two, three, go. Hell to the no. Is that not the grossest thing ever? I mean, I hate it. I have never, ever done it. I remember going... And I never, ever will. Oh, tch video coming soon um <laughs> i remember being a kid i will never forget i've told this story before being a kid and getting sent off to a somebody's halloween party and i get there and that's what they were doing and i was like so wait a minute if i want to eat an apple <laughs> which i very much wanted to i have to stick my face which i had makeup on my face as it was halloween you know what i mean i had like face paint on and I have to stick it in this water where everybody else is slobbering into. No. Yeah, I'm first. <laughs> My gosh. I remember going home and saying, Mom, you know, as soon as I hit the door, you'll never believe what they were doing. Yeah, that's so gross. Yeah, that's not. That's not it. That's not it for me. Okay. Pet costumes. Are you into that? <laughs> One, two, three, go. They're so cute. Mm -hmm. I have a whole tote of pet costumes, don't I? I mean, oh, yeah. My dogs have been superheroes, hot dogs, tacos. <laughs> I have all kinds of things for them. Um, we don't have dogs anymore, so we're saving them. I'm sure we'll use them again. Mm. Uh, and I had a little dog and a big dog, so we have pet costumes in every yeah. size and shape. Our cat... We'll see what he dresses up as or if we can get him to dress up as anything. John keeps wanting to dress him up just I for do. fun. We'll yes. see if he plays along. Lord Litterbox. Okay. Zombie stuff. Like, are you into zombies, Walking Dead, zombie movies? One, two, three, go. I knew what your answer was. <laughs> zombies are the worst for me. They are the worst. I hate... It's the sound for me that they make. They're and they're always like, you know, like very in their mouth and snarling and Yeah. No, I don't like it. I would be popping mints into their mouths. I don't, yeah, that's that's not a thing for me. I don't I don't like that at all. Mm. Or anything. Think of a 5-year-old. Whatever a 5-year-old is appropriate for for them to watch, that's what I like to watch. I like the stories of, you know, the collapse of society and the struggle to survive. I like survival shows like that, but they need to put like a little cartoon face or something over the zombie parts. Like I like, um, you know, end of days kind of stories and how people survive and what they do to survive. But why do they always have to have zombies in them? I don't know. All right. It wouldn't be a zombie story. I, I guess, know. I guess. Smashing pumpkins, is that a thing? The band or? Going around and, you know, it's probably not limited to teenagers, but you know how teenagers go around and take a pumpkin and smash them. Like, is that fun? One, two, three, go. That's horrible. horrible. Don't ever do that. Don't ever, ever, ever do that. Some little kid or some adults sat around and put thought into that it's it for one pumpkins aren't free they cost money and somebody put their time and effort into creating artwork and, and it you, makes a mess and you're just being destructive yeah that's vandalism i don't <laughs> like it and you're gonna crush some kids 
or adults, <laughs> but mostly kids. Yeah. There's nothing worse than walking outside and you're, you know, around this time of year, you walk out and you want to see your pumpkin and to find it smashed. That's happened to me before. That's awful. That's horrible. Yeah. You shouldn't do that. Never, right. never. Now smashing pumpkins, the band. One, two, three, go. You don't like smashing pumpkins? They're all right. I like them all right. But I mean, do I love them? And that's funny that you said that, because see, I did have it on the list that way. <laughs> it was on the band. On the list. Oh, it was on the band. In the book. Candy corn. Is it a thing? Do you like it? One, two, three, go. Yeah, we can agree on that. Neither one of us love candy corn. However, this year we tried a couple new ones that we kind of dug. Nerds and the Minions Yeah, ones. Minions. Mm-hmm bonfires is that a thing do you enjoy them one two three go love bonfires we need to do that we have a we fire pit. do we have a fire pit we need to get after that tis the season before it gets too cold mm -hmm. okay vampire movies are you into those one two three go what do you mean by vampire movies <laughs> by vampire movies well, yeah, there's a whole... See, my The Lost Boys is the um, vampire movie, right? Yeah, and, I would appreciate that. Yeah. Um, not so much. I mean, I can watch Twilight. Mm. I made John watch Twilight, and I don't think he was too impressed. But The Lost Boys, no, right? No, Twilight was horrible. Um, yeah, and like... Bram Stoker's uh, Dracula with mm -hmm. Keanu Reeves, I think is good for like a Sunday afternoon or something. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of depth and torture and story and history behind vampire movies and they're done differently. I mean, I, there's not to say there's not gory vampire movies out there, but they seem to be less gory than some of the other Halloween genre right. monstery type yep. movies. If I'm going to watch one, it's going to be a vampire movie. And it's going to be Lost Boys. Um, <laughs> okay. The good old candy swap. You get home from trick-or-treating. Are you swapping candy with siblings, friends, whatever? One, two, three, go. You didn't do that? You didn't like that? No. I always got taken advantage of. I can see that. <laughs> Hmm. I'll give you two of these things that you don't like, and I'll take this thing that you love. I was always sad because my sister, the <clears throat> next youngest in my family, is 10 years older than me. So nobody trick-or-treated at the same time uh, I did, and maybe that's why I always wanted to have a candy swap. But when I went with my friends and stuff, as I got a little bit older, then I would do it and I would like it. But very much I was only trading away what I didn't like. I was right, never right. making... I will not make a bad deal when it comes to candy. Guarantee. <laughs> See, yeah. what usually happened was it got stolen from me and then replaced with something that I didn't want. Mm -hmm. That's where you tell somebody no. Okay, Stop. scary stories, you know, like camping scary stories or like hearing a scary story. Do you enjoy that? One, two, three, go. I don't know any, but you know the ones that are like, they were out camping and they heard a noise in the woods. <laughs> Like, there are some people that are just great storytellers. Story yeah. Um, yeah, that that I enjoy. Yeah, it's kind of like reading a book, I would sure. say. You, you know, it's not... Um, part of it's like the ambiance of it, too. You know, you have the fire going and you're yeah. just kind of hanging you around. Can't see anything. You can't see anything on the outside. Right. And, yeah. Yep. Black cats. One, two, three. Yes. I mean, just like cats. Yeah, so. and they, they get a bad rap. What black cats do? Yeah. Oh, because it's like bad luck if they cross your path. Well, or yeah, and a lot of people like get rid of black cats because yeah, they're superstitious and whatever. Nah. I've never had a, an all black cat, I don't think, but I would. I'm not opposed. Never had one either. Okay, decorating for Halloween. One, two, three, go. We didn't this year no. at all. We have all this redecorating Boo. stuff that we're almost done with. And so we decided to skip fall decorating and go right to Christmas. And fall is my favorite. Not Halloween so much, but fall is my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to decorate for. Well, we still have, um, if we can finish that up really quick, we still have all of November so far. That's right. You might, you might see a late little, yeah, tour or something. But 
we do decorate for Halloween. Just we don't go all out the same way. We don't do stuff outside generally. And... No. Okay. Next, caramel apples. One, two, three. Mm, I'm on the fence. I never bite into a big caramel apple with all the stuff. I like them chopped up in apple slices, and I like a couple of things. Can I eat a whole caramel apple? No. But I like yeah. that. I think, you know, I've tried some that were good, but it's not usually something that I would pick. I think I prefer caramel apple slices with caramel apple dip. Oh. That's how I like to eat them. Okay. Yeah, I like mine with caramel. Hold the apple. Okay. <laughs> Last question. Oh, all right. Ready? Right. Scary dinner. Are you into that? One, two, three, go. That's our favorite Halloween tradition that also Indeed. that we do every single year. So scary dinner is where we make kind of <clears throat> gross food. We've done a meatloaf that looked like a zombie. Yeah. We've done mummies out of hot dogs, you know, wrapped with dough around Yeah, them. fingers out of hot dogs. Yeah, we've done all kinds of stuff. Uh, we would consider the puking pumpkin. We've done that for a scary dinner before, if you saw that video. That's our favorite tradition. We didn't do it this year this, or last year because the world is very, very, very strange, right? Yes. Things are starting to get less weird, but I think we're going to wait to have any like family gathering type situations until maybe after the first of the year. Um, so anyways, that's, that's where we're at. Let us know in the comments how you would answer any of these things. I'm so curious if our viewers are into Halloween. I would say we're into the seasonal stuff, you know, the food yeah. and some of the decorating, some of the more scary things, but maybe not gore and right. some, of, some of that stuff. That, that's kind of where we are. We like magic. That's right. Absolutely. Uh, so, like I said, let us know how you would answer any of these down below. And what are your favorite traditions? We tend to always do pumpkins and we do food, some kind of Halloween food, and then we usually decorate a little bit. We don't go out for Halloween. No. Um, it's not my favorite night to... Ugh, I worked in a bar for a very, very, very long time. And any of these... New Year's Eve, Halloween, St. Patrick's Day. I might make an exception for St. Patrick's Day. I, <laughs> I, but that's when all the stuff goes down. You yeah. know, when you're out in the world. Those are the three nights that you can count on. There's going to be bar fights and there's going to be all kinds of stuff. We would love to pass out candy to kids and see what their costumes yeah. are. And unfortunately, we just haven't gotten hardly anybody around. Yeah, this is this will be our third year, I think, right? Of handing out candy. Yep. And um, last Here. year, yeah, last year there was nobody. Um, you and know. the year before, there was maybe the neighbor kids and yeah. a few others. and handful, maybe five, it. six total. Yeah. So, you know, we're home and available and ready to do that kind of thing. I think we just enjoy the food and the, you know, um, maybe the spirit of Halloween more than actually celebrating it. But let us know how you celebrate down in the comments. Don't forget to come find us on social media. Our links are in our channel banner. Uh, also, we have a game channel if you're down That's with that right. sort of thing. Speaking of that, we're adding a couple of creepier, scarier games to that. If you want to see me experience Five Nights at Freddy's for the first time, pop over there. I'm afraid. I'm afraid <laughs> of that. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, now if you love Halloween or playing games or us or, or the, the video, video, give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel when you do that. That's all we have for today. See you That's next it, time. Guys. Bye. Bye. You're like. <laughs> <laughs> I did too. You did the thing like where you think somebody waves at you and you're like. <laughs>